Hello and welcome back to The Broken Doll and today I come to you with a thrift store haul. Um, today was a beautiful day in, in my neighborhood and I thought to myself, it was supposed to rain, that's what I saw the day before and I thought well, got up this morning and I saw the sun coming through the curtains and I went whoa. And then I went to check the mail and I went whoa. And I just went, I need to get on my bike and I need to start going to places. And where were those places? The thrift stores. So anyways, I want to show you what I got. So, what did I get while I was out? Well, I went to... How do I want to start this? Okay, let's, let's do it in the order of how I went. Alright, let's do this here. Alright, I went to my Goodwill. And at my Goodwill, I wasn't going to show these because of St. Patrick's Day coming, but I'm going to show it to you. I got these little green pants. There was, um, there was a few of them sitting around there. These are for crawling, for crawlers. You know, you can see that on there. But I wanted them because it was green. There was quite a few of these there. And um, so I, I only bought the one because, because of it being green. I don't have a lot of green items for my dolls. I paid $2.29, which I think is getting a little up there. Um, but Goodwill has good prices so all, compared to Value Village and a few other places. But um, they do pretty good. Um, I You know, still, you know... Go pay brand new on it. But anyways, I got those. They have a little koala bear on the back of them, too. It looks like a little koala bear. But anyways, I thought they were cute, but they were green. And so I don't have a lot of green stuff for my dolls, so that's why I got them. There was a lot of Oshkosh Bagosh in there. And um, I only took about, well, I think it was one, one item of Oshkosh. And there was a ton of it in there. So I got these pants because of that boy cloth doll I got. And they're all lined here with uh, flannel and everything. They look really warm. So I only bought the one. And again, those were $2.29. $2.30. You know, for Oshkosh, that's pretty good. All this stuff needs to be washed yet. Then I saw this beautiful little dress in there. And it's a little checkered dress. And I love the embroidery. I would, lo I would love to do a photo shoot of, of my dolls. All in there, I have a lot of embroidered, embroidered dresses. A lot of this heavy embroidery. And um, this would be one I would put in there as well um, coming up. So something this summer, spring, er, uh, spring, early summer I would like to do. But when I saw it, I just went, oh my goodness, that's a beautiful little dress. And it's also made by, I think, The Gap or, no, Carter's, 18 months. So one of my bigger dolls will fit into that. So that was cute. I saw these pants with the suspenders. Now, these are just little gaffers. These are carters, but they have the suspenders on them, so I got those. And I've got a little shirt with a bow tie that would look nice. You know, I thought that would look really cute. So I got those as well. And then I got this beautiful little dress here, which is kind of, kind of wrinkly dinkly right now, but I think once I wash it and give it a nice ironing, this will all come out, I'm hoping anyways. And this is by B Baby Bagosh, nine months. So I got a, quite a few of these dresses with the little angel wing sleeves or um, there's a butterfly wings they'll call them also um, but anyways I thought it was cute this was a little more three dollars and twenty nine cents but if you were to look at the real prices of these these clothes you pay of course way more more and more for them so anyways I went also to my value village which is getting so expensive I, I it's just I walk by more stuff than I would um, than I picked up but they have that bag system um, $3.99 and you could, it's the smallest bag that they have and if you can, um, excuse me, if you can stuff it up as much as you can, the, you can put, you know, you can, you can buy it. It's got to fit in that bag though for $3.99. Oh my goodness. Anyways, I got this little outfit here and it's by George. So that's Walmart. But I thought this would look good on one of my, that little monkey, um, I have, um, was, there's Adele and Abu. So I thought Abu would look nice in that this winter. I love the uh, flannel inside. The We call it the lumberjack. <laughs> but anyways, I also want to do this summer is a gingham um, a gingham uh, photo shoot as well or video for you. And this is made by George as well. So that will be cute as well. So I got that. This here I don't want to show because it's for St. Patrick's Day, so i got to wash that up and get that ready. And then I got this um, Mickey outfit here, which is made by uh, Disney, and it is also in 18 months. It's, this is for that big doll I have, um, which is Brother Coos, and he sits in my high chair in the house there. But he needs um, 
more clothes. And I know this is not to his time period. He's a 1930 doll. But once in a while, I like to do a Mickey theme or a Disney theme. This would be perfect. He can get in on the on the theme, at least. And then I got this shirt for him as well. This is for that, that same doll. Um, I, I hope it fits him. He usually takes 18 months, but I'm going to hope this works. If not, I do have... Um, what do you call it? Grumpy Baby? He might be able to fit into this. This this is actually very close to his size. And if not him, that, that cloth doll I got um, in Boy Doll. I'm trying to get some boy clothes in. And then, um, and that was all in that bag. So I got how many items? One, two, three, four, five. Five items I got in that bag. So that's pretty good. And I used the small bag. So then I picked up this dress here this little red and white uh white polka dot red and with white polka dots on it and it is i paid 5.99 i don't know who oh baby gap and it is 18 to 24 months so that would fit one of my patty play palish uh dolls in there uh maybe uh i got one that's a little bit smaller it might fit her might fit patty play pal i thought this would be great for canada day the red and white so there we go on that now since I went out to my um, value village, one of the places I like to go to, which is just around the corner, um, is Lens Mills. Lens Mill is my favorite store. I love that store. I would I asked the manager today, I was in there, and I said, you need to move your store over to where I live because it's kind of dangerous me coming out here on my bicycle because you've got a lot of semis and no sidewalks. And I said, um, it'd be safer if you were just across the street from me. You know? <laughs> And they were like, well, we'll try that. But no, um, he laughed, but he said, I said, well, even if you open up a second store, you know, in my neighborhood, you know, but because um, it's way out, like, okay, but the thing is, there's see, going out, there's sidewalks going out, and then they end when you get around, around the corner, they come to a stop, and then you have to go on the bicycle trail. The only thing is, there's so many semis. I, I just shudder, you know, like when they go by me, you know, type of thing. There's a lot of room there, but you just don't know if one is paying attention and clips you. You know, you're you're gone, you know, type of thing. It is dangerous, you know, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I've never had any problems, though, but I don't need one. So I learned something um, back a while ago by going out there. My, Tamara won't go out there with me, my daughter. She won't go out there with me because it scares her. But the thing is, is that she did it once and she said she'll never do it again because it scared her. And it, it, it can be scary. But the thing is, is that I found out if these buildings that you got to go around where the sidewalk stops, I go behind the building and I go in their parking lot and go back behind where they all park, all these people park in this building. And then there's only this tiny little strip that you have to go down and you're at the store. Now, there is another store right before it. I could go into, just keep going, like come out, go behind the building and go and go right into their parking lot. and But you have to go across their grass. And I don't know if they would like that or not. That is, that's why I didn't take it. But I might just start doing that if just to get to the lens mills um, because it, it's too scary on that road. Um, then you're there. So I do have a way of getting there be like a lot better. Um, but this little piece that you have to go on, it's just like you're on it for two minutes and you're there. It's that two minutes that scares you, though. It's 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 a, I, I get I'm going to say two things. I it's. <coughs> It's safe, but not safe, I guess. It's, it's like back, but it doesn't matter. Let's get on with what I got there. So I got down the lane where they got inside the store, and I saw these wonderful little clothespins. They're actually bigger than those little little ones that I'm used to getting. So I got these for, um, I use these a lot, believe it or not, for clothes that don't have any um, snaps on them yet, but I want to hang them up. And I just look for the clothespins. I go through and I look for the clothespins. I see a clothespin, I pull it off and I start fixing it. Whatever's wrong with it. Or on the hem, I'll put a clothespin on it telling me there's something ripped on the doll. So if I see a clothespin, I pull it off. And that means i got to fix it. It's my little way of knowing. And I'm running out of clothespins. So that tells me i got a lot of clothes that need fixing because I'm running out of clothespins. So I bought some more. Instead of sewing up the, the clothes I've got, I just buy more clothespins. <laughs> okay. What's the other thing that I'm wanting to do? Well, one of the things I want to do is my fashion dolls from the 1950s, some of them have earrings. Um, one has the little little still plug still in the ear, but no, no pearl hanging from it. So anyways, I would like to pull those out because it turns the ears green and get the green off the ears. I got some CLR, so I want to start using that on my dolls with the green on there. And then what I would like to do is is um, get make my own little earrings up. So I ordered from um, AliExpress the little eye, eyelet stems, but the only thing is it takes a long time for that stuff to show up, you know, and I want to make them now. 
not in three months from now. That's how it feels. I mean, it won't take that long, but it usually takes six to eight weeks, you know, for something. No, that's two months you're talking, you know, depending, you know, they're, they're slow. So getting over here. So anyways, I went to my lens mill and lo and behold, I was able to, I found them. They're called eye pins. I did go to Michael's. They did have them there, but they wanted 19, like 20 bucks for a, a bag, a little container of them. And I just went, no, I'm not paying 20 bucks. So I got these for $4.49. They were galvanized, but I don't care about that part because now these dolls are in in a very good environment. So, wonderful. So, to make those, um, I, I asked her if she had any teardrop pearls. And she said, no, we don't. We have the round pearls only here. And they did. That's all that was on her shelf. But that store has a, a tendency of having a little blank area. And that little blank area gets filled with something. And I thought, I'm just going to keep looking. And as I came around, um, around the boat in such a way, all of a sudden I saw these pearls hanging there. And teardrop pearls. Now, I don't know if they're the right size, if they're too big or whatever. I think they might work. Um, I'm going to try. If not, I might have to order them off of uh, AliExpress or Temu, whatever one. Also, while I was there, I, I was wandering around, and lo and behold, I found this some baby diaper pins. And what do I want di diaper pins for? I want these for my cloth diapers. So I, when I make, I, I get a doll dressed up for, um, you know, from the 1920s, 30s, whatever, where it was cloth diaper area er, era. I can now pin them on and they had more there so I'm going to go back and get more I'm not done with that store yet and these are the oh these are the little circles that you can hang these pearls from they're the little round circles you know that you need to you know hang hang these from so they, they dangle type of thing you know the pearls kind of dangle a little bit I just hope they're not too big but they don't look too bad you know when I look at them here um, they're a little bit bigger than what I uh, I don't know. You know what? They might just work. You know, um, I don't know. We're going to see. We're going to see about that. And then I did buy one more thing. Let me see. Oh, yeah, I did get this little onesie, too, that was in that bag. So six, seven things or whatever in that bag. Now, I did buy one other thing. Where is it? There was a thing of... Oh, yeah. I got this, this elastic string here. That's all I want for some underwear that I, I need to string some underwear so got that as well um i don't even know what i paid a dollar 